Today on The Tiffy Show, Kathleen Kennedy is demoted coincidentally after the South Park Pandaverse special. Maryland firearm licensing ruled unconstitutional. Republican primary update has Trump at 60.3%. Chris Christie claims Trump is senile and can't recall who he is running against. Hewlett Packard CEO claims that AI will double the growth rate in the PC category. John Deere notes higher borrowing rates may dent their demand in 2024 for their products. Broadcom completes their VMware purchase after China signs off and approves. And Kia Hyundai to recall about 6 million vehicles due to a risk of fire. All of that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of the Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice today. Guys, he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's a joke. If you're an IT leader or a business owner, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November, so if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Hewlett Packard CEO saying that AI will double the growth rate of the PC category. Now, this comes to us thanks to a reporter by the name of Julie Coleman over at CNBC, and specifically HP Inc., which Again, marketing is a fascinating thing where I think they never really capitalized on the combination of the companies. Hewlett Packard had bought up Compaq years ago and they started to make a lot of products, including laptops and even infrastructure for the data center, like servers, storage, and networking. But the companies were all, they're, all, they're really always separate, even though on paper they were the same company. So a few years back, I believe in 2017, Hewlett Packard split into two companies. So now when we say HP Inc. or HP, that's the separate business that is known for selling printers, laptops, and more of the consumer-grade products. And Hewlett Packard Enterprise, or HPE, that's the side that got the data center, basically. So you got the servers, the storage, and the networking, including the purchase of Aruba Networks, which is now fully incorporated into the company's portfolio. And they're two separate publicly traded companies, but marketing is still a little flustered, to say the least, because I know so many customers who still call the companies the different names. So nevertheless, specifically today, we're talking about PCs, which falls into Hewlett Packard Inc's or HP Inc's portfolio. Now that CEO is Enrique Lores, and he noted that quote, AI will drive a significant momentum in this category, some in 2024, more in 2025, and more in 2026. Now he specifically said, as we have said before, we think this is going to double the growth of the PC category starting next year. Lori said that the new technology will enable users to gain access to the cloud with their PCs, allowing them to receive analysis from complex language models, quote unquote, locally. He also claimed that the new computers will not significantly be more expensive than previous models, estimating an average price increase between 5% and 10%. I'd be fascinated to know if that does or does not include inflation, because that's one of those things where that could also be a big curveball as the government just prints more and more money, especially in the United States, and all of a sudden a computer is costing $10,000 and it used to cost $1,000. I'm not saying it's going to get that bad, but again, 40-year hyperinflation, something to always take into account and think about. Enrique clarified and additionally said, quote, he added that the PC market had become recovered, saying that the growth will also be bolstered by the transition from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and he noted that the second half was stronger than the first half here, and we expect the market to grow in 2024 compared to 2023. Now, interestingly enough, I'm kind of curious to see the long-term stock price. Now, he says that, but I'm not too sure, just because of all the economic and political uncertainty, HP Inc. does make a lot of their money from consumer-grade models in terms of models you can go to Walmart or Target, the ones you can buy online, but they also have a whole department at HP Inc. for the business grade models, which usually cost more, more reliable, and that's a big part of their sales portfolio as well. And when it comes to businesses, a lot of them are putting a pause on some of these, some people would debate unnecessary IT hardware refreshes. Now, I'm a little biased, I work in IT, so I think you should refresh your hardware more frequently, partially because of reliability, and then uh, there are some security vulnerabilities if you're talking about like a network refresh, but nevertheless, it's one of those instances where a lot of the things in IT, the band-aid that a lot of companies do when they're running out of budget or they don't have enough much budget as they did last year, is instead of refreshing all their PCs, aka recycling the old ones and buying new ones, well, they just have their employees hold on to those PCs for an extra year 
or a two or a three. In some cases, the business has gotten so bad they wouldn't replace the PC unless it broke, which is extremely frustrating if you're an employee working there and your computer's slow as molasses. Which, incidentally, interestingly enough, did work when I when I actually worked at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. They actually had a policy where thankfully they changed this. So if you work there now, you're not in this precarious situation. They had an instance where unless the computer broke, they wouldn't replace it. And I knew someone who had like a seven and a half year old computer, and it was slow and inefficient, but the company still wouldn't replace it because they were strapped for cash and they were trying to tighten the budget. So he's saying that they think the category is going to get better next year. But let me know in the comments if you think that really happened. I mean, their stock is doing great. Hewlett Packard Inc. stock is about $28.66 per share. Five year trend is up 27%. The past one year, however, is down 4%. Year to date, it's up by 7.14%. In the past six months, it is down 6.22%. In the past month, it's up 10.74%. Past five days, it's about even, only going up by half a percentage. So, eh. I mean, long term, their stock has been doing pretty good. And it'll be interesting to see. Let, and again, let me know in the comments, are you planning on buying a computer next year? Because again, that is a big part of their sales portfolio is consumer-grade products. And if you're going to buy a computer, why or why not? And do you think you or the company you work at, are they going to do a computer refresh next year that would help bolster some of their sales? Be fast to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget to take the time to really write a couple good comments in terms of the feedback is greatly appreciated, even if it's harsh. I always say, even if it's a harsh critique, that's how you grow the most. Also, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. So if you can click that button, I would especially appreciate it. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.